or the blowfish? Not really. Hi, I'm Brian Chase, Jackman for the number 56 Napa Auto Parts Toyota. When you asked me about Brian Chase, I had to I had to think real long and hard and be like, oh yeah, that's Hootie. Brian Chase, I wouldn't know who is that, but uh, I know him by Hootie, but I'm not sure where it came from. We call him Hootie. That's his nickname. I'm not sure how he got it. He's got a nickname for me. I'm not sure where he came up with it, but for some reason, he, he likes to call me one way. I've heard some rumors that it might have come from a restaurant, you know, with owls and stuff, but I really don't know the whole story, so we're just going to leave it at that. Well, uh, when I first got into racing, we had a little uh, a deal set up to where every week we would flip quarters. Odd man out had to buy lunch. Somehow I lost one week, and I had to buy lunch at Hooters, and it cost me a lot of money. And we walked out of there, and they said, anybody that spent that much money at Hooters has got to be called Hootie. I'm extremely competitive. The competition on pit road is what lead me to pit in the car, and I just can't stand to lose. You know, when I first came around DEI, he was working there on the A car, and uh, so I've known I've known Hootie for a long, long time. Total, I've been doing it about 18 years, 19 years, maybe. Michael Waltrip will win the EA Sports 500 at Talladega. We won a lot of races with Michael and Napa team. We won some 500s and. Talladega and uh, was really good over there in the Napa experience. He's a passionate guy. He's one of the older guys, but he, he's uh, probably the best in shape guys on our team. The good thing about Hootie is he's been around the sport for a long time, so he's one of the like one of the senior guys. So I don't have to worry about what he does because I know he's he's got a lot of experience. There's some races where you think to yourself, boy, I hope this goes right. You know, it, even after all these years. There's still some places or some instances where you get nervous. I hate pit strategy, I can tell you that. Man lead, and then it all goes to hell. The perfect pit stop comes in. Uh, it's really important that the driver stops on the mark. A lot of people don't realize that, but driver stopping on the mark is key to how the whole stop goes. You know, and what happened the stop before you can't carry over to the next stop. You've got to completely erase what may have gone wrong or what may have gone right and, and do it all over again. He's awesome on pit road. He's really, really good in the shop. Um, and not only is he, is he a hard worker, he's a good, he's a good team player. He um, keeps everybody upbeat and he's always got a positive attitude and uh, we just have a good time with him. My favorite part about the job is they pay me to fit a car. I love racing and, you know, it's unbelievable that, that people pay you extra money to go out and, and do something you love. Two weeks ago, he broke Joey Logano's record for the youngest winner in the K&N Pro Series West. Coming up, we'll introduce you to rising star 16-year-old Dylan Kwasniewski. Guess which Sprint Cup driver he aspires to be like. Find out after the break.